I hate the idea that you have to stick with one organization system throughout the year. Organization systems are tools that adapt to our lifestyle and our workload and should be chosen and used according to those principles. Currently, I've been loving an all-digital system again, because I can see the exact same information in different devices, even if I'm in a situation where I don't have my laptop or even my iPad with me. Being able to log quick notes and tasks without having to set up a notebook or ring-bound planner feels awesome, especially when you can add more detailed information to those notes in the future. My current organization system is divided between three major apps, a main calendar app, a to-do app and a project planning app. I've been using TimePage, Actions and Notion respectively for this, but you can use other similar apps of your choice as well. The basics of my organization system require three main steps. Scheduling events, logging tasks and project planning. I go through these three steps when I need to plan for something or during my weekly reset organization sessions. The first part of this process is opening my time page app, which is basically a very pretty and functional calendar app. I go to my monthly view and add events. In my own personal dictionary, calendar events are basically locked time blocks. As soon as they're added to my calendar, that time block can't be used to schedule tasks. Whether it's a place I must be, someone I have to hang out with, or that gym class I have to go to, any future tasks that I try to allocate to my calendar cannot interfere with those time blocks. When scheduling an event, I like to add in as much detail as possible, including exact time frames, location, contact numbers in case there's someone I have to call, as well as notes related to that event. I then select the calendar I want to add that event to, and that's it. I simplified my calendar organization and currently have two calendars. A family calendar, where I share events that are relevant to share with my fiancé, and the personal calendar, which has information that is only relevant to me. After all of my events have been scheduled, it's time to switch apps and open Actions. Actions is an app that simply lets you log tasks. It's supposed to be simple and fast and it mimics the experience of a to-do list by relying on swipe gestures and individual list of to-dos like you would find in the pages of a notepad. I have four main lists on Actions, a list for work, other for general chores, a list for wedding planning and a list for YouTube projects. These tasks can either be logged indefinitely or scheduled for a specific day. For logging tasks, I go through the same system every time. Step number one, when I open the app, I open my first list and insert anything I remember that I have to do, from very small things like emailing final version of document, to big things like imagining an entire project from scratch. I make sure I open each one of my lists, skim through the tasks that have been logged and not yet completed, and then add things I remember I still have to start, improve or complete. Step number two is, after all of my to-dos have been added to their corresponding list, I return to the split view and start dragging each task to a certain day of the week. Assigning a time slot for these tasks creates a sense of accountability, but most of all, it immediately affects the rest of my day. This is fundamental because the great thing about actions, in my opinion at least, is that it syncs perfectly with time page. There's a weekly view in the left column that imports all events added to time page, even if they come from multiple calendars. Having the overview of your week makes it easy to drag and drop tasks as you already have a sense of your available time because of your locked time blocks. Managing your way around your scheduled events makes it easier to allocate time dedicated to finishing a certain task, because there's an improved perception of how you'll be spending your time and that will eliminate any need to reallocate. All of my events have been scheduled and all of my tasks have now been allocated. This means it's time to look at the bigger picture and this means project planning via Notion. A quick note regarding my understanding of project planning. Although it can include obvious things like creating a new YouTube video series, writing an article or changing my bedroom decor, I also call project planning to major lists that are used for a longer time span than tasks in to-do lists. So for instance, my bucket list and my 30 before 30 list have been included in Notion. 
The same idea applies to things like my reading list, major meal prepping routines, links for budgeting spreadsheets, etc. Furthermore, Notion also acts as a data repository, and it's a place I use to keep all the random information I don't want to forget, like brainstorming templates, ideas for Christmas gifts, contacts, restaurant recommendations, video exporting settings, submission rules, the list goes on and on. In other words, after everything is scheduled and allocated, Notion acts as a major but organized brain dump. I type down everything I think about, stuff I want to do, stuff I need to remember, or stuff that I may do one day in the future and would like to have a place to record in case I forget. Part of this brain dump actually sees a lot of day and ends up being scheduled or allocated into tasks. For instance, my self-learning video series was once a page of Notion that I didn't initially plan to start anytime soon. A final note just to say that the system only works in its entirety, missing any of the three steps renders the system useless, so I make sure that I visit all three of these apps as part of my daily routine, and after a week or so, it gets pretty fast and seamless and definitely helps me feel less overwhelmed. If you want to learn more about different organization systems, you can use today's sponsor Skillshare to watch Thomas Frank's Productivity Masterclass, which covers how you can take notes, manage your calendar and tasks and organize all of your digital and physical files and overall create your personal organization system. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in dozens of different categories, and they can help you build new skills, develop new strategies and learn more about anything you feel curious about. Skillshare's portfolio includes productivity and business masterclasses, tutorials on how to work with different types of software, language classes, art and design courses, and so on. Premium membership gives you unlimited access to all these incredible classes, so no individual payments are required. And since Skillshare costs less than $10 a month for the yearly subscription, it's the perfect platform to continuously develop your skills. If you go right now to this video's description, you'll find a special link and promo code that will get your first two months on Skillshare for free. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys!